Hi, and welcome to the videos for section 2.5 uh, for Math 181. This is the first of two videos for this section. First video, we'll look at what's known as the chain rule, which is what this section is about. Second videos, we'll look at a bunch of different examples, try to give you guys as much exposure to some different types that you'll see as possible. So in this section, as I had mentioned, this is what's we're going to learn what's known as the chain rule. So let's look at the following function. Let's say we have some f of x is equal to the square root of x squared plus 1. Now if you think back when we were first looking at like square root of x, I told you guys, well, you can use just raise the exponent in this case and that's fine because we only have x underneath. With this one, we run into a little bit of a problem because we don't have just x underneath the radical sign. So all of the rules that we know to this point, be it differentiating a polynomial, the product rule, the quotient rule, any of that stuff will not work by itself for this. But recall uh, as well when I was telling you guys about decomposing a function. And that's what we can do here is we can rewrite this f of x. So let's say that if g of x, because remember when we decompose a function, we work from the inside and work our way out. So if we say that g of x is what's inside of here, x squared plus 1, and if we say f of x is just the square root of x, so whatever's underneath it here, take the square root of it, that gives us our f function. <clears throat> then, we can say that this function, f of x, big F of x, is just the composite function, f of g of x. So, take g of x, plug it into f of x, and that gives us the big F of x that we had started with. And in this case, because we've rewritten this f of x as a composite function, where our f of x, small f of x, and our g of x are both differentiable. So we can take the derivative of g of x by itself. We can take the derivative of f of x by itself. And so since we've rewritten this function as a composition of functions that we can take the derivative of independently, that leads us to the chain rule. Now before I get into this, I've been kind of alluding to you guys that you really need to keep track and keep straight and keep organized what you're doing with your work. Up until this point, it hasn't been too bad. This is a whole new animal. So the chain rule, we're going to have so many steps, uh, so many pieces, some that are differentiated, some that we leave alone, that you really, really, really have to be careful with your work. Otherwise, if you get off by one number, one sign, anything like that, the whole rest of your work is, is worthless, really. And some of these are going to take you a lot of steps. So you really have to be careful. But the chain rule is as follows. If f and g are both differentiable, and f, capital F, is the composite function of these two differentiable functions, then f is differentiable. And f prime is given by f prime of x is equal to, so f prime, 
So we take the derivative of the f function and leave the g function inside of it still. But then we have to multiply this by the derivative of the function inside. So we would take the derivative of f, of f, leave the g function inside, then multiply it by the derivative of the g function. So let's actually do this one here. So now let's call this an example. And we want to differentiate this f of x, which is the square root of x squared plus 1. So now I am going to rewrite this using my uh, exponents for roots. So this whole thing is to the 1 half power, and then x squared plus 1 on the inside. So I'll change up the colors here to try to help you guys keep it straight. So f prime of x is, so we first take the derivative of, so up until this point, like order of operations or decomposing the functions have always been what? Work from the inside out. Now when we're using the chain rule, I know it's completely flipping this upside down on you guys, but we're going to work from the outside and then work our way in. So we work from the outside, so I have something to the one-half power. So how do I take that derivative? Well, I bring the one-half in front. I have to do what? Subtract one from the exponent. And then I leave everything inside. So that doesn't change in this first step. Just bring that down into the function that I've taken the derivative of. But now I have to multiply this by the derivative of what's inside. So this piece I left alone, x squared plus 1, now I need to take the derivative of that guy. So this first piece is done. We can simplify it. But now I need to still work on this one. And this is really how I would work these. And you'll see as we get into some more of these complicated ones, as soon as you're finished with a piece, just work down the rest, and work down the rest, you'll kind of create like a little step system, but then you're just going to multiply all the last of the pieces here. So if I take the derivative of x squared plus 1, well what happens? All I'm doing is just a polynomial, so bring down the 2, leave the x, subtract 1, x to the first power, so the derivative of this guy is just 2x. And then that's it, I'm done. So I've done the two steps that I need to. So what am I left with? I'm left with this piece. And I'm left with the, this piece. And I have to multiply these two together. This one here I can rewrite as what? This is 1 over 2 times and then square root of x squared plus 1. So that I'm bringing this piece into the denominator so I can make the exponent positive, which is positive 1 half, which is just the square root. And I'm timesing that by this guy, 2x over 1. So if I combine these, I get what? 2x over 2 times square root of x squared plus 1. The 2's cancel out. So the derivative of this function, square root of x plus 1, is just x over square root of x squared plus 1. So that's it. So we're starting with a function that none of our other rules would work with. We'd have to apply the chain rule. And then here's an example. So we take the derivative of the outside piece, leave everything else inside alone, then take the derivative of the inside. And for this example, we would get x over square root of x plus 1. So that's it for this video. Come on back. I'm going to work a bunch of examples. Again, hopefully give you some exposure how this chain rule works and how you really need to keep everything uh, straight to make sure you end up with the right answer.